Well, it's been quite a while since I did a vanilla Minecraft video. And it's not really due to lack of interest. A lot of it's just because of frame rate problems on the old computer. I kind of like keeping this channel varied and doing all sorts of things, and you don't really know what you're getting every week. So this week, I decided I'm going to play 1.20 for the first time. What do you mean I'm late? Yeah, I haven't really experienced a lot of the new Minecraft updates. And a lot of that was just because of performance issues, but hey, I mean, I'm getting a good amount of frame rate uh, now. Although, for some reason, I still feel a little stiff at times when new chunks load in. But let's wander around a little bit. Uh, the purpose of this video is not really to do like a speed run or anything, but to really just showcase me, Mr. Competitive Minecraft PvP guy, the most casual sweaty PvPer you'll ever meet, to show off how that archetype also- what the- is this new? Uh, we'll look at that later, but <laughs> first let's go to this village over here. I'm basically just showing off what the uh, the PvPer experience is like uh, playing Minecraft vanilla for the first time in a while. Now I have watched speedruns and stuff like that, I just don't really like them. <laughs> I think Minecraft is just not a good game for speedruns, really. Uh, how did you die? Do cats kill rabbits? When did that become a thing? String? What? What is going on? <laughs> what is happening? Dude, I'm not gonna know what stuff got added in, in 1.19 and what stuff got added before then and what's 1.20. Like, I'm not gonna know anything. They added camels? Bro! Alright, I ain't even gonna lie, that's awesome. Mad props to the devs, they've been doing what we all wanted. What the hell is this? Root? I've never seen that in my life. In case you guys aren't clued in by now, I did very little reading on this update. Oh no, it was hard to be excited about new Minecraft updates when I really couldn't play them. Is that Lapis? They have Lapis this high up now? It's insane. I mean, honestly, it never really made sense why they would make that so low. Honestly, I didn't think there were gonna be that many differences between this and like 1.19 and 18. Although, honestly, I didn't really play 19 either. Like, the last one I really gave like a long gameplay session to is 1.18. And I don't know if this is like a hot take, but uh, I really don't like the new caving for Minecraft. I know, I know, it like made things fresh and whatever, but I don't know. I, I really struggled to get into it. Before I go any further, let we gotta kill this camel. Uh, it doesn't drop anything, so that was worth nothing. But yeah, my issue with new Minecraft caves is it just feels like there isn't enough substance to them that, like, justifies how big they are now. Like, I would have loved if they added a bunch of new structures and stuff like that to caves. I mean, that's some things. But, like, amethyst geodes? Like, those are cool. But there was, like, no new real interesting structure that you could actually loot or you know, experience for more than 10 seconds. To me, the size increase was just that. Like, it just became an inconvenience to me when I was playing the game. Anyway, we're on a desert temple. Uh, I'll take the emeralds and stuff like that. Ooh, Pin of Arthropods 5. Mending is cool if this was like a full playthrough. Impaling. Uh, I know armor trims are a thing. I, I'll be honest, I don't really know how, this, how these work. But I have seen them and they're, they're kind of neat. The thing is though, I feel like the new caves were very popular. It was just a change so many people liked. I know people People may be like, oh, he's a Minecraft pvp -er. He hates everything Mojang's done since 2016. No, I, I wouldn't really say that. When combat got changed, I wasn't into it, and I still think 1.8 combat is better for, like, multiplayer minigames. But I recognize that, like, new combat is better for, uh, for, like, survival and stuff like that. I kind of like it for this sort of thing. The issue is I really didn't like it for a lot of Minecraft minigames, which was the majority of what I was doing. And today, that's still kind of primarily what I do, is I like to do Minecraft minigames for the most part. I just had an epiphany, and it was, why am I still exploring the surface? Originally, it was because I was looking for leather. But I've just realized, I don't care about leather. I'm not getting enchanted this place playthrough. I don't need to do that. I'll just go and uh, get myself a little bit of wood and then I'll I'll pack my things. Like I'm doing a very basic line to the ender dragon. All right, here we go. Water caves, another thing I don't really like about Minecraft these days. I should not have to carry like doors around with me. It, fe it feels weird. Like I feel like this isn't intended, but if it is intended, why? Also, I've realized I have Fulbright on, which I normally like to turn off for my vanilla playthroughs. Where is it? You're gone. Goodbye. Oh, that's awful. I don't want to play without full break. All right, let's go down and just like make a run for it. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, get out, get out, get out. I don't know why, but my game is like lagging a good amount. I don't know if it shows up as that to you guys, but I'm struggling. All right. <laughs> well, we found a place. Let's go dig down now. Oh, this is, is this a lush cave? I don't know. I've heard of these. Are they fun? Kind of fun. This is not a lush cave, that's the lush cave, I think. 
I think it's I think it's above me. I go a little further up though, because I kind of I'm in the ocean. <laughs> That's not where I thought it was. Dang. I don't know if anybody else gets this feel uh, whenever they play like newer Minecraft versions. But I feel like Minecraft ended at 1.12, you know? Like like the rest of this is just DLC. Like some mod, something like that. I think that's because like 1.13 was the first version where they like really overhauled Minecraft features. I guess 1.9 did that though. I don't know. It's really like 1.13 was like the start of like a different era for Minecraft. <laughs> More Bane of Arthropods 5. You know what? We'll, we'll keep you on deck. And this is Prot 3. That's actually real good. I'm not gonna get anything better than that. How long have baby chickens been able to spawn with regular chickens? I swear, I never see that. Let me murder your family, but you can you can live because you're not gonna get me anything. All right, so basically I'm gonna smelt everything up and then we're gonna just try to go to the nether. Why did I pick up this Curse of Vanishing sword? <laughs> get that out of here, I don't, I don't need that. A while back, I was doing this documentary series of like all the Minecraft updates and I still wanna keep doing that. Those were like pretty fun to write and people were really into it for a while. And then weirdly, as soon as I covered 1.3, everyone was like, oh no, I cannot watch that one. It got like a fifth of the views of the previous least watched one in the series, I was like, what is, what happened here? I think my 1.0 video is one of the most viewed ones on the channel, as is the 1.2 video. Then the 1.3 video came out, and it was literally my worst performing video since I came back. I, I, I don't understand what happened there. It's a shame, because I thought I did a really good job at the writing on that one. I thought the, the writing on the 1.2 video was a lot worse than the 1.3 one. But I'm also, like, super harsh with myself a lot of the time, in terms of judging the content I make and all that. So I completely lost where I had the nether portal. So we're just gonna find a new ruin portal or a lava pool, just something like that. This is kind of unique, like an interesting render world thing. Not at all what I was looking for, but it's cool and also bees, you know? And when I was talking about all those, like, uh, documentary videos, I was like, one of those is literally gonna be about the update that did bees and barely anything else. I was like, how do you- I don't wanna make a whole ass video about that. Yeah, you figure it out. I don't know, if that's something y'all are interested in, watch the 1.3 video. <laughs> the video underperformed at levels that I didn't think were possible. This video might do the same, honestly. Because I haven't tried vanilla Minecraft stuff since. Oh, finally! Lava! I've been looking for so long! I don't know the speedrun strat, nor do I care. So I'm just gonna do it the old-fashioned way. And now we can go nether. Awesome! There's so many pigmen down there! I need to- I'm gonna set my respawn point outside and, and see if I can actually live that job. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Yeah, we live. Awesome. I was pretty sure we did. Why are there so many zombie pigmen, though? <laughs> I do know the ender pearl drop rates, I think, got lowered. So I don't really expect to get anything out of them, but uh, worth looking into it. Well, fire resistance potion's actually going to be pretty nice. But is there nowhere to go or what? <laughs> Holy crap. All right, let's just go out. It doesn't feel like I'm going to get much out of this, to be honest. But hey, we hope for the best. Woo! In all honesty, I think, like, the 1.16... Uh, nether update. I actually did quite a bit to help out the nether. This is like one of my favorite modern Minecraft updates because it adds a lot but doesn't like really subtract anything. Like whenever Mojang completely overhauls something, it always feels like they're subtracting a part of it too. Like with combat, they're completely changing it. With the oceans, they're completely changing it. Like if you prefer the old versions of any of these, uh, well tough luck. But the nether? Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> that thing scared me. Uh, uh, um, the nether, like the standard nether biome still exists, so... Oh hey, look, nether fortress. Uh, hold on, let me check my fire resistance potion. Alright, now, these guys shouldn't do anything to me. I need to go to the spawner, like, fast. <laughs> Is it possible for there to just not be any spawner? Like, I straight up cannot find one. Well, I'm out of fire resistance. Ow! Oh! Oh! Hold on! <laughs> hold on! That might... I don't want to die here. How many shots do I got to hit you with? Jesus. I got no- I got no rods. Did it? I hope none of them fell in the lava, but I'm- I'm, I'm pretty sure- oh! <laughs> You terrify me. Just get off. I don't want to deal with you. Oh my god! There's a freaking drop there! Oh, I would have lived. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We don't need to worry about anything. I guess this is- I guess we just gotta go on top of the building. It's like the only real way. This is awful. This looks like a terrible idea. What the- how did you hit me twice? Um, I think I'm dead. Like, what's the answer? <laughs> the shield broke, I think. <laughs> I don't think that mattered, though. I was like, wait, is there a way out? <laughs> awful. Straight up awful. I'll go into creative for a little bit, uh, just to see if I could find any, like, the new 
biomes or something like that. All right, I wasn't able to find anything, but I did uh, find this seed and that should show me. Yeah, we got the brand new cherry something biome. <laughs> cherry Grove, I think. Like, honestly, this is really cool. Like, I like the pink leaves. I think that's neat. But yeah, that was my first experience with 1.20. Uh, didn't end great. It's been a while since I've just done a casual vanilla Minecraft playthrough. And I just got really careless because I just wanted to get the freaking blaze rods over with. So it happens when you've been playing for an hour. Verdict on the update? Pretty cool. Nothing crazy got added, obviously, but pretty harmless as far as Minecraft updates go. Yeah, weirdly, I feel like my game struggled loading new chunks. I don't really know what was going on. Like, oh no, game still feels unstable. And honestly, Mr. Mojang, please do an update where the major focus is like performance. Camels are cool. But I don't give a damn if I can't play it. But anyway, I've been Flufe. Uh, hope you enjoyed this vanilla Minecraft video. It's been a while. I'll catch you guys later. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.